We've just had this incredible, powerful storm come through this area. In fact, it's hit various parts of the UK, but it very much hit the south coast, which is where um, I am. And yesterday I walked up to the beach just to have a look and see how big the waves were going to be, because it's normally quite a calm coast, but oh my goodness, we had some enormous waves. In fact, it wasn't like just wave after wave, there were just waves everywhere. The sea was so churned up and so angry looking, and I took some shots with this 500 millimeter lens and just tried to capture that kind of raw power that I was witnessing. Um, so I want to show you some photos from that today and talk about some of the pictures and um, show you some film. Um, but before that, look at this, very exciting. My 2024 calendar has arrived. Now, I don't usually do calendars, um, haven't done one for ages, but I thought this year it'd be quite fun to do a, a limited edition calendar um, and make it literally as cheap as I possibly can. So if you want to get hold of this, it's a, one of those kind of double wall calendars where you can, I'll show you, look. So you can basically just, there we are, pin this to the wall. And every month you've got a different photo um, that I've taken. So I think it's quite fun. Um, there we are, there's January. Um, so yeah, if you want to get hold of this, then it is on my website, click below. There's a link there, there's October, look. The month of my birthday. Anyway, so if you want to get hold of this, it's a link below and uh, it's a limited edition thing, which means they're all being posted on the 1st of December. So you have to get your order in now um, until the 30th of November. And at that point it closes, this will vanish from my website and they'll all be posted on the 1st and that will be it. So there's a special offer for it now. If you order it straight away, as you get nearer the time, I'll have to increase it slightly, but at the moment it's a special offer um, to make it as cheap as I can. So do click the link below if you want that. Also, if you've been someone who's pre-ordered my book, then um, that's about to be, um, dispatch very soon. It's almost at the very, it's almost, almost, almost finished. And so um, that's almost gone. So um, get in there quick if you want to get that book before Christmas. Anyway, let's show you some film. Um, I did actually film some actual kind of audio as well whilst I was on the beach yesterday, but the problem <laughs> was the wind. We've had up to 66 mile an hour of wind and it's just been, too powerful um, for me to talk. In fact, it was just this absolute distortion the moment I spoke, even with the little things on the mic um, to try and uh, um, stop the wind. So I'll talk you through it and I'll show you some footage because it was just too powerful for me to actually um, uh, talk whilst I was by the sea. But what I found was, was that you've got this situation where you've got really, really powerful storms and with a manual focus lens as well, you have to really try and pick your spot. So when you're shooting these big waves, what I find is, is that they are obviously moving extremely quickly and they're changing all the time. So I will manually pick my spot where I, th I can see this activity and I will wait for that place. And then I will choose, I went for F11 and I was at about, about 800 shutter speed, sometimes a bit higher and try to freeze that area and I'll press the magnifying glass on the back of my camera which zooms me straight in to the, um, the picture so I can really fine tweak my manual focus on this lens and then it's just a matter of waiting and then getting that shot as it happens and because there's so much movement I found that if I kind of pick my focal zone I could keep the same focal length and the same manual focus um, zone for a kind of perimeter so I could then just keep shooting in that place and anything around that, knowing that it was gonna be in focus. And so what I do was I just literally march up and down the beach and just kind of enjoy the whole experience of watching those waves come in, but at the same time, capture images in a really fast pace. And I kind of find the whole thing so exciting because it just fills you with um, so much life as you're just experiencing the power of that wind and at the same time, you, suddenly it rains, you've got to get your coat on and, you know, worried about is the, is the lens going to get ruined because this lens isn't weather sealed, I don't think. Um, the Leica is, but I don't know about the lens. Um, but it's all part of the fun. You've just got just so much happening. The tide's coming in, so you're just almost getting your feet wet because the tide suddenly bursts up the, 
up the beach and uh, it was just such a lot of fun. Also, I was trying to pick out some things like there were some seagulls which were in the um, environment there and they're playing with the waves. It's amazing watching them dive through the waves as the curve of the wave comes in, they're kind of shooting through. They obviously love this, this kind of crazy weather and so they are just enjoying that, um, that, that experience just like I was and it's kind of strange to be in a place where you know I'm having just as much fun as the seagulls <laughs> and the other birds that were there. And it lasted for quite some time, I was there for at least an hour just capturing the different motion and obviously you can see the pictures that I, that I took and I, I like the fact that with this close-up lens, this 500mm, you can really feel that exhilaration and that power of the waves. You know, as the wind hits the crest of the waves as they're coming in, it's blowing it all back and you can see that in the images where there is just such a tension between the incoming tide and the power of the wind that's blowing the, um, the, the waves back and that, that kind of tension there um, I tried to capture in some of my images as you've just got that power and suddenly the sun will come out and you'll just get that beautiful look. Um, so it's all really mixed up together and so hopefully these pictures just give you um, an example of just what it was like to be in that storm and to, from, from my, my point of view, really enjoy that experience of that wilder weather. So yeah, I hope you enjoy seeing those. Um, I just thought it was worth showing you. Um, I couldn't really bring you the whole experience from the place because it was just so distorted. But I thought it'd be fun just to show you the um, images and show you the experience of what I, um, what I enjoyed yesterday. Um, so yeah, that's it really. Have a great weekend. Um, don't forget to grab this. It's on special offer now if you want the 2024 um, calendar. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Thanks.